Hi all! If you are a returning viewer, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amira and I am continuing today my declutter, my makeup collection and declutter series. Um, I'm not gonna lie guys, I have been dreading this particular declutter because of how much I have to go through and this isn't even all of it. There is a special section, a subsection, if you will, of this category of makeup that I'm going to be doing separately because I plan on doing sort of like a swatch try on video for you all. And the reason why I'm not including that is because literally none of that is getting decluttered. It's, um, it's going to be my Pat McGrath lipstick collection, which is quite extensive. Um, but yeah, today we are doing all of my lip products all of them and there's a lot all right so i mean where to begin i think i'm going to start i'm going to grab all of my lip pencils because it's probably the thing i have the least amount of and i can kind of get through this pretty quickly so these are all of my lip pencils with a little eyeliner that got stuck in it so we're going to move that to the side all right so not a lot i feel like this is not an insane amount of lip liners and i will say that for a very long time i didn't really wear a lip liner this is more something that i started collecting in the past like like maybe year or two um so yeah so this is basically all of my lip pencils let's go through them i don't think i'm decluttering anything i think i like my little collection i kind of have a lip liner for almost everything and I actually think that if I were to purchase you know once I'm off my no buy I wouldn't be averse to purchasing more lip pencils only because I feel like my lip pencil collection is pretty um neutral heavy and I would like a few more colors so that I can sort of use lip liners for other shades of lipstick that I own so let's just get started I'm going to separate them into categories and the, the lip liners that they own that I own the most of are Pat McGrath lip pencils and I know so bougie oh my god but honestly she was, was ha she always has really good sales on her lip products so I say I'm like if you're interested in Pat McGrath lip products and they seem too pricey for you because they are quite pricey wait for a sale and stock up that's basically what I did all right so these are all of my Pat McGrath lip liners and as you can see most of them are just neutrals. I have a couple colors here, but most of them are just neutrals. I basically bought almost all the neutrals that she had in stock because I just love the tones of them. Um, so I, like I said, if I were to buy more, I would probably get more um, unique colors. But let's just start with the colorful ones because, you know, there's not that many of them. So I have the first one I ever bought, um, and I bought this along with a, um, the Pat McGrath um, I think it's a matte trans in Antidote. I bought these those two items together. So it's this lovely color and it hasn't been sharpened, but let me see if I can get a swatch for you guys. That's the shade, so stubby, but yeah, this is 1980. Put that to the side and then I have Bloodless, which is just a classic red and it's kind of got a bit of a cool tone to it you know like a blue tone red that's bloodlust next up is this shade and i think of the colors that i have this one is my favorite because it's the most like interesting and this is um cosmic vibes and you might hear a lot of splooshing and splashing guys we just got a crap ton of snow here in the shy town area so we are like i think we've gotten about eight inches of snow so yeah it's a hot ass mess outside um, so it's made the traffic even louder um and so next up are all of my neutrals so first up we have living legend beautiful shade look at that it's kind of got like a rosy tone to it that i really love and i'm really just showing you guys these like i said i'm not getting rid of anything then we have suburbia and this one's more on the pinky neutral side We have Brown Nouveau, which I love this shade. I've been wearing this a lot lately. So pretty. Next up, I have Ground Control. Oh. 
Next up, I have Ground Control. Really dark. Love it. Then the darkest of the dark is Deep Void, and this kind of has like a purple tone, and I have the matching lipstick with this, but if you can see, it's like dark purple, almost black, but not. Really pretty. Then here I have Deep Dive, another fave that I like to use. This is structure. Oop, got it popping out of the thing. Mine's do. I don't know if anyone else's pencils do this. I feel like all of mine's do this, but this one is a really pretty neutral nude. And this is buff. This one's a bit light and peachy for me, but I still like it. Um, I especially like it with like a slightly darker lip stick, and you can kind of blend them together. This is done undone. This one's super light, but again, I really like it. And then as you can see, <laughs> this is my favorite and this is contour. And this is probably the one I freaking love this shade. It is so, it's like the perfect, like neutral nude tone. It goes with so many of my lipsticks. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I like to use it all over my lips. It's like a great, like almost like a mannequin lip. It just kind of like neutralizes and it can go with any shade. Love that shade. I'm not getting rid of any of these, but this is my little Pat McGrath liner collection. I'm going to move that to the side. So I'm here for now. If you guys could see the amount of stuff that is like right here, it's ridiculous. All right, so let's do my color pops because that's the second largest collection of lip liners that I have. All right, so here I have Overtime, which is again another red. This one's a little bit brighter than Bloodlust, but not by much, but I like having both. Then I have my black. My one black liner, and I use it with purple, so it's kind of got some purple on it, but um, black lip liner. And I think this one's called Bull, yeah, Bull Chic. This one I love because it's just weird. I love it. I love the shade. It's called Alt, and it goes really well with like dark tealy, greeny lips. So pretty. And then have BFF. Two, and I think I have BFF2, BFF3, and BFF4. I use BFF3 the most. In fact, is this BFF3? Yeah, it is. I was making sure I didn't have it in my purse because a lot of times I just have it sitting in my purse. So this one is BFF2. It's a little bit lighter. I still like it. It's a really pretty neutral tone. And I'll do BFF3 since I have it here. This one again, fall it out. And as you can see, this one is... I like that the tones are just all slightly different, not too crazily different, but I just, you can find your like perfect shade. This is BFF3 and I wear this with a lot of neutral, nudie, taupey brown, like lip glosses and lipsticks. Love that. And then I, like I said, I think I have BFF4, uh, yeah, just this one here. And as you can see, it's just chocolatier. This is good with chocolate lipsticks. And guys, I apologize for the noise. It's, they were like plowing and it's just this, I was like, I can either film or I can just never film again. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at right now. And this is Petal Please. I need to love that. As you can see guys, I really love neutral lip liners. I don't, I'm like even with like colors sometimes it can really just help, you know. And this one, I feel like this is control, but the little pencil thingy is all the way down which kind of annoys me I'm gonna see if I can get that out but now I'm kind of like am I gonna have to declutter this I might look at that can you see that it's like all the way down in there I don't color props pencils are notorious for this which kind of annoys me but I'm gonna see what I can do to save that I can't even swatch it though at this point all right let's do my melts which I have two. Oh, actually this is oh no this is a Kylie Sorry, that's not Melt, no, that's a Kylie. So this is Hex from Melt. Really pretty. Again, another like neutrally color. And then this one is the one Kylie kit lip pencil. I have one Kylie Cosmetics thing that I I purchased in a very vulnerable moment. No judgments, please. Thank you. But it is green 
and you know how I feel about green. So this is the green. It's a really pretty color. Um, I think the name of it is... What is it called? It doesn't even say. Let me let me look at the lipstick because I think they're the same shade. Ironic. Okay. So that's my one Kylie pencil. And then these are my two Lisa Eldridge. These are my most recent purchases. I got these in, I want to say, November of last year. And so I got Cinnabar to match the lipstick. Ooh, this shade, so much. Lipstick as well. The lipstick is fantastic. And then this is Dragon to match my other favorite Lisa Eldridge lipstick. If I can get that out. Yep. Yeah. There we go pretty those are so vibrant and what I love is I have other lipsticks that are sort of similar that I can use these with so that's a win next up is um, my Urban Decay Nighthawk this used to be my all-time favorite lip liner like I didn't own any other lip liners but this lip liner so I've per repurchased this about three or four times and this is one that I just have had hang like lingering in my collection I'm gonna keep it it's still a beautiful shade as you can see here. It's just really lovely and goes with so many things. And then next up is my one Juvia's Place. And this is the shade, I believe it's, yeah, Sweet Nothing. Turn this up. It's kind of got a little bit of a yellow undertone. I just really like that. And it's really creamy. I to use that more often because it's actually really lovely. And then this um, Lime Crime Velveteen's Lip Liner in Platform. I love this shade. It's just one of those shades that like, you see how pretty that is? It's got a little pink, a little bit of an orange tone. It goes with a lot of different things. I really like that lip liner a lot. It always is one of those lip liners that kind of comes through in the clutch. You know, you can't think of one that matches anything. That one usually matches for me. All right, so let's get my lip liners out of the way. And then we'll get go on to all of the other things guys so much so much okay let's get going we're gonna do lip glosses well first of all let me show you what I'm working with here guys let me just give you a preview of all of the lipstick that we are going through today Do you see now what I'm talking about here? Like, do you see how much we have to go through? So much. I hope you guys got like a snack and a drink because you're going to need it. All right. Let's go by, let's go by brand. I think that will be easier for me and I'll feel a little less overwhelmed by this whole process. So let's go by brand. I'm going to move all of We're going to start with one of my fave brands. We're going to start with Dose of Colors. Um, let's see. Let's move this to the side. I think I have all of my Dose of Colors here. Yeah. All right. No, I don't. I have one that's not in here, but I'll get to that in a sec. All right. All right, so this is all of my Dose of Colors minus one item, which is in my purse right now. And it's my all-time favorite, one of my all-time favorite lip glosses. Um, it is from the, um, I think it's the Minnie Mouse collection. I don't think it's the Mickey Mouse. It, no, I take that back. It's from the Mickey Mouse collection and it's called One and Only. I literally just keep that in my purse when I go out. Like, it's one of my favorite lip glosses. Um, it's not going anywhere. You guys have seen me use it in a video before. So it's just like a neutrally taupey cream lip gloss. I love their lip glosses. I like that they have a little pigment. Um, I love that shade. It's perfect. So that will not be going anywhere. And I'm really sad that once it's gone, it's gone because it was a limited edition item. And I really want them to just like re-release it as like a permanent, you know, lip gloss item in their collection. But anyway all right so i will say that dose of colors has my favorite liquid lipstick collection matte liquid lipstick collection so i own quite a few of their shades and 
some of these, as you can see, I have some of the newer packaging, but most are in the older packaging because I bought a ton of them when they would always go on sale when they were still in Ulta. I, whenever they would go on sale, they usually did like they were on sale half off for 21 Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and I would just stock up. So every time they had that sale, I would just grab some. So that's why I have so many. So we're going to go through... Um, let me pull out the glosses first. Put those to the side. We'll do those later. And this one, because that's not a liquid lipstick. All right, so shades that I have. I have, I think this is Extra Saucy. I lost the sticker, so I just put the thingy on it, and I will show you what that looks like. This is my favorite red from them. That is Extra Saucy keeping um these there's nothing wrong with these this is in the older packaging but my my feeling is that as i run out of them you know as they empty then i'll replace them i don't feel the need to replace them just to have like the new packaging that's silly so this is merlot not not a per, not a fave fave of mine but it comes in handy when i need like a blue based more blue based classic red as you can see this this one's a little bit deeper and richer i prefer that one then i have strawberry pop i love this shade it's such an interesting shade it's like a red but it's also a pink and it really depends on what you wear it with what it looks like but as you can see next to an actual like true blue based pink it looks quite a red rather it looks quite pink i love that shade it's such a fun shade then i have i think this is bury me too yeah i don't have the first one the original berry very me. This is very me too. Very pretty. And what I think the thing one of the things I like about theirs is they don't expire very quickly like a lot of other liquid lipsticks. So I've had these for a while. They still work just fine. This is Plum Queen. They don't smell or anything. This is Plum Queen. Yeah, they smell fine. I've used these recently, so that's why I know. But this one, I love this shade. Look how pretty that is. And then we have Mood, which is another one that I use a lot. Now, this one might need to be replaced. Last time I used it, it kind of peeled a little bit on my lips. But I might give it another go and see. It smells fine. Yeah, so I might just give it another go. And if it's still, of course, not. I'm putting my fingers in. And if it's still, like, peeling, then I might just toss this one. But I have to give it another try and see. Then we have Brick. Really pretty. Let's do um, Chocolate Wasted. This is probably the newest one in my collection. I, I've always wanted this shade, and literally every single time I would go to buy it, it would be sold out. So it took me a while to get my hands on it. And I bought this, like, um, I'm going to say fall of last year. So Chocolate Wasted. I love a good brown lippy. So pretty. And then we have, I think this is, this is Campfire. Yeah, which one is this one then? I have to see. The one thing I will say is that I hate that their stickers always come up. But it's the shade up from Campfire. I want to say it's Old Flame. Yes, that's it. Old Flame. So it's kind of this really light peachy. This is a bit light for me, but when I put it with like a deeper lip pencil, it looks really cool. And we have Campfire. just like I said a little bit deeper than old flame and then here we have my two faves now my first one that's my fave this is cork I have I don't generally replace lipsticks like once I'm done with them I'm kind of done with them but this one this is my third one I just emptied the last one and this is why I have it in this packaging because it is like one of my all-time favorite perfect perfect neutral tones and because it's in a formula that I love that I find comfortable I don't see the purpose the point of not having it in my collection so this is cork a fave knock on wood is another one that I purchased when I first bought it I didn't really love it it was a little too light for me but I loved it with like a darker lip liner and kind of blend it out and I wound up going bad and I was kind of bummed and I was like, well, I actually want to purchase it again because I actually really loved layering it with cork or with a dark lip liner. And so I repurchased it and I feel like they changed the color of it. It's still light, as you can see. But I find that I don't have to 
mix it with things now like it looks really good on its own so I think they made it just a tad darker and I'm not mad about it I really like it so yeah, that's why this is in the new packaging next we have these here and this is from the I believe this is from the Desi Kate Desi and Katie collection or Desi Lo is it Desi Loves Katie collection that they had and I love this shade it is my main but it's not um a liquid lipstick it's like a velvet it doesn't like dry matte it's really comfortable it's really pretty love that keeping it now these two I love their lip gloss formula but these shades are just too light for me this one here and I've tried holding on to them and like trying to get make them work for me because I love the formula so much but they honestly just get forgotten about because of the fact that I have see those are just so light like too light for me like even with lip liner they just look kind of milky and gross on my lips so I think I'm gonna do away with these two so yeah first declutter of the video so far we're gonna get rid of those babies so now with those gone I should be able to fit all of these in here because I wasn't able to before so let's put them all back in their drawer Let's move on to these babies. Now these are all of my Give Me Glow Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lips. Give Me Glow has discontinued basically this entire line of lipsticks and I really loved their color selection. Their formula is okay. It's not like my, my absolute fave, but I don't hate it. But I really, really loved their color you know their color collection it's just such a interesting and fun one so I'm kind of bummed that they got rid of it they have a new one now I haven't tried it yet but when they have their sale I just bought a ton of these and some of these I don't feel like they're working as well as they used to um they kind of peel a little bit so let me just take these all out because it's gotten all bunched up so I can swatchy swatch for you guys so this is all of them. And the ones that I find aren't swatching as well or staying on my lips as well are Creep. Last time I wore this, it kind of cracked all over the place. But let's see. This is what Creep looks like. Let me smell them. They smell fine. They smell like vanilla. They smell lovely, actually. I don't know. I love these shades so much and I know I can't get them again blood rose some of these she did bring back but um like i said i haven't tried any of the newer stuff yet this is blood rose and this is from the vintage rose collection it came with the vintage rose eyeshadow palette which i also own and is one of my faves i love that palette let's see this is sweater weather now this one feels a little drier than the others i mean So I just like hit myself in the face with it. Um, doesn't stink. No, it just feels a little like you can even see how it's a little bit drier than these are. Hmm. I'm gonna put that one to the side. We're gonna see. Then I have Black Friday, which is only one, is one of only two black lipsticks I own. I love this, but it's also kind of dry as well. Smells fine. I mm, think I'm going to keep it. All right. 1990. Love this shade so much. Need to wear it more often. Look at that. It feels a little... Is it similar to any of the, those colors that I have? I don't think so. This one smells fine too. I'm just noticing that when I open some of these up, they look a little bit... They look and feel a little bit drier than others but I'm gonna see how they dry down and that'll kind of help me decide like if they start like crack cracking on my hand or my arm we'll kind of see what they're doing this one is whiskey and honey this is my one of my all-time favorite lipstick shades guys this shade is just oh it's so fugly beautiful this one still smells fine too it does feel a little thick a little thick she thick but I, I don't know I can't part with it look at that shade Oh, I love it so much. This still smells good too. Let me wait. 
yeah, it still smells like vanilla. All right, this one is She's All That. I've worn this a few times as well. I just love these shades. I mean, they're just so pretty. Look at that. Still smells good. I'm going to keep that. This one is Dirty Blonde. I think this is probably the one I've worn the least. So let's swatch it up here and see how it compares to these shades. Because if it matches kind of the shades that I already have from Dose of Colors, I might do away with it. Let's let that, I'm going to let that dry and see how it looks because it feels like it'll be quite similar to this one. So we'll see. This one is Cinnamon Bun. I think this came out with the Cinnamon Bun palette. Again, I'm going to let that dry down and see, but I really love that shade so much. But you see how fun these shades are? This is Cupid. This is a really cool toned. I just love them. And I can't part with them. That one still smells good. This is Elizabeth, and this is also from the Vintage Rose collection. This one's a little watery. It may need to be shaken up a bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. We'll see. We'll let them dry down. All right. So these are the three that are possibly on the chopping block. We will revisit them at the end. I'm gonna let them dry down and see how they how they perform on my on my hand here. Set them to the side, and let's put these bad boys back. All right. I've got a lot here from, I have all of these here. Now I don't have as many like full collections. Actually, you know what, let's do this one because I have more of these than anything of those. So that's some of these. All right, so these are all my lime crimes, minus this one. <laughs> these are my lime crimes. These are another set of liquid lipsticks that I bought on sale and I find that these here guys go bad really quickly and I'm kind of bummed about that because I love these shades but when I've been wearing them I've been kind of like mm. like this doesn't smell great I mean it doesn't smell bad but it smells very crayonish which kind of bums me out because I've only worn it a few times and mostly like for fun these last time I wore Blood Moon, this is one that I wore recently for, for an IG post that hasn't gone up yet, but, and it was cracking so badly on my lips. And I was like, what is the deal? You know, like almost to the point where I didn't want to post the picture. Cause I was like, oh. yeah, I don't know. I, let me smell it. Still smells fine. And now I'm wondering, it's like, is it just like the formula that they crack so poorly this is wicked I love this shade this one hasn't given me as much trouble as blood moon has that one's really pretty love it all right then we have this one which is night's bane love this one too super dark but again I feel like it's gonna it's cut you see it's kind of dry kind of Less liquidy. This one's really liquidy. I'm going to have such a hard time getting this off my hands. Guys, my hands are going to be... I'm going to be Polka Dot Man from, like, Suicide Squad. That's what I'm going to look like. I don't know. I'm going to think on that. These two. Salem, I need to get more use out of. I just love this shade so much. Let me put it next to Chocolate Wasted and see how it compares. It's actually more chocolatey. More milk chocolatey. I'm going to keep that one. Let me smell it make sure it's good. Hmm. It smells not bad. I'm going to try this on my lips and see, but I'm going to hold on to it for now. This one is Saint. Love this one too. Do I need it? Look how pretty that is. And I like to wear this one with the, the Lime Crime Velvet that I have platform. This looks so nice with it. I'm going to hold on to this one. So, so far, I think I might get rid of Peacock and blood moon i'm gonna put these in the maybe pile we're kind of gonna do a whole little you know state of the union at the end and see what you know do an assessment all right so these are the lip blazes and i love these things and i have three shades here i have 
fern, bud, and herb. Herb is the one that I wear the most. And they're not, um, they're like glossy lipsticks. They're like a hybrid. Look how pretty that is. These shades are very similar. These aren't going anywhere, guys. I'm just going to let you know that right now. This one is Bud. They're just so nice. I've got a piece of cat hair on here, so that's lovely. Uh, look at that. And they smell really yummy, too. They smell like candy. And then, did I do... Did I do fern yet? can't remember. No, here we go. So this is what they look like. So actually, I'm sorry, I take it back. It's actually fern that I wear the most, but because now that I'm looking at this tone, this is the one I'd love to reach for. How pretty are these? Oh, I love them. They're such a fun um, like formula. They're very like glossy, but they stay on. They're not dry. I enjoy. So that is what we're looking at. It looks like these two are, they may be on the chopping block, Blood Moon and Peacock. I'm definitely thinking I'm probably just going to get rid of Peacock because I do have a blue lipstick that you'll see later on that I think I like more than this. So that was a nice little declutter. I got rid of two of those. Yay me, I suppose, I guess. All right, let's do these. Oh, wait, I forgot about this. This is also a... Lime Crime Wet Cherry and Naked Cherry. I had the other one that was, I think it's called Bitter Cherry, and I like that one so much. The smell of these, this one is not as much of a fave as the other one was. The smell of these, I'm going to keep this though. Did you hear that? Isn't that horrible? It's a horrible sound. Anyway, it takes some getting used to because it's like that NyQuil cherry scent, you know, really artificial. But what? Once I got past it, I kind of became nose blind to it. <laughs> I really love these shades. I like the Bitter Cherry more. It's got a little bit more brown in it, but I still really like this one. So I'm going to keep that. And that is that closes the Lime Crime section of this video. And now let's do these bad boys. I'm going to do these as well, but those will come in a minute. So these are all of my Too Faced lipsticks. I actually really love the Melted Matte lip, lip Formula. I think, you know, I was thinking about it the other day. I was wearing this, and I was like, I think this is probably my second favorite formula after Dose of Color because it's just so nice. It's such a nice, nice formula. So here is Cinnabon, Cinnamon Bun from the Ball, or I guess it was their holiday, that little cinnamon roll. I guess it's cinnamon roll, not cinnamon. No, it says cinnamon bun. That cinnamon bun palette, you know, the neutral one that looked like all the others from the holiday collections that they released. And then this one is from the one before that. This is from when they first introduced the gingerbread spice. And I have that palette. I actually like that palette. The first original OG one, I actually really like. Every one that's come after has been pretty meh to me as far as color story. This is Gingerbread Girl. Love this. Still smells like gingerbread. Still looks lovely on the lips. This one is Cool Girl. All right. Just looking to see if that dried down so I can kind of... Very nude. Very cool toned. I love it though. Keeping. Keeping. This one here is probably on the chopping block. I bought this on a whim. I liked... A swatch of it I had seen someone was wearing it over something and I was like oh that's so pretty but this is just like it's just not me you know um so I've worn this maybe twice it's so pretty it kind of reminds me of like a of an eyeshadow I have it's so pretty I don't know, guys. It's so, I keep saying, oh, it's so pretty, but I just never reach for it. And I always say, oh, I can layer it over stuff, but I'm like, I never do. <sighs> I'm going to think about it. I'm going to put it on the side here and think about it, but I, I'm leaning towards getting rid of it. All right. Next, we have all of my color pops. Let's just get the color pops out of the way because I actually don't have that many. I used to have a crap ton of color pop. Color pop used to be my like number one 
these are all very old and I think a lot of these are going to go away. Making sure I have all of them here. Yes, I do. Okay, so first up is the Ultra Glossy Lip in Fantasia. Let me smell this. I love this shade. And see, again, I do like glosses with shimmer in them. Now, Fantasia used to be my jam and I used to reach for this all the time until I got my Pat McGrath Full Reel. I kind of want to, I'm going to put this to the side because I kind of want to compare them and show you, you know, just really see if they are similar because if they are, then I'll just declutter this one. Um, and this one is Curvy and this is from the ColourPop I Love Sarai collab. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I mean, it's pretty, but I'm like, it kind of reminds me a bit of the, the texture of these that I'm getting rid of from um, Dose of Colors. So I'm like, eh. Now this one is a toile. This is old. And this is from I Love Sarahi as well. Collection, anyway. This one? And I'm sorry if you guys can hear noises in my apartment. There are other people here. So I can't really be like, stop living. Even though I, you know, kind of want to be like, just stay in one place so I can film. All right. So, yeah. It's so pretty. But honestly, I haven't reached for this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to declutter that. This one is my OG fave. And, but I've had it forever and I don't even know if it's any good anymore. It smells like a regular ColourPop gloss. It feels glossy. Still, look at that. Oh, I just love this shade so much. But I've had it forever. And I haven't used it in a while. I just keep applying it to my hand. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm. I'm going to smell it again. Make sure it's not bad. First of all, you know, also, can I say the ColourPop's glosses stink in general, so it's really hard to tell. At least the old G formula. I know that they've changed their formula since then. I don't even think they make this formula anymore, which is a bummer because it's a great formula. And the new formula has been, I noticed people have, to sit, have had really hit or miss experiences with it. But they've always kind of smelled, so it's really hard to tell if it's bad or not because they always stink. <laughs> well, you know, it's hard to tell. I'm smelling that Too Faced one. That Too Faced one smells lovely. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. Oop. Next we have this, which is my other ultra matte, the only ultra matte lip that I have, rem have it, I have kept. I bought this when I was looking for a black. It's before I bought the Give Me Glow one. I prefer the Give Me Glow formula to this. And the thing about the ColourPop ones is they go bad really quickly. But I haven't given, I haven't really worn this enough to know if it's still any good. Smells fine. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold on to this. Try it out. See how I feel about it. See if it still like has some life to it. And then I'll decide. All right. These three. These are all from the um, Sophia, Sophia Nygaard collab that ColourPop did um, with her. Grammatically incorrect. The ColourPop X Sophia Nygaard collab. I bought these. This is the thing. I don't like ColourPop's lip bullet lipstick formula. I never have. I decluttered the other one that I had a while ago, but I held on. Oh, I'm getting makeup all over my, my sleeve. Um, I held on to these because I love the shades so much. But, like, look at that. It's so cool. Look at that. It's such unique shades. But... I never wear these because I don't like the formula. This is Bikini Bottom. This is one I don't wear very often because it's super light. Um, but it's pretty. Look at that. But I don't wear these because I don't like the formula. And it bums me out, guys. Because I love these shades so much. This one is um, Brucey. And this is the conundrum. It's like, I love the shades, but you never reach for them because you don't like the formula. So what's the point in keeping them? Da -da -da. Um, 
I think I'm gonna have to say goodbye to these. It's, it hurts. It hurts my heart, but I just don't wear them. And you know, I have a shit ton of lipstick, and it's like if you're not reaching for them, and they're just sitting there, and they're not they're not new. I've had these for a while, so they're you know. And the truth of the matter is, ColourPop lipsticks tend to expire faster than a lot of other lipstick formulas. So I don't even know if those are any good. Let me smell it. They're smelling a little crayon -y too. So, yeah, I think I'm going to just do away with those. Sad. Okay, wiping off my hand for more space. Let us move on. All right, so now I have three, more than that, actually. I have four Colored Rain products here. I used to have a ton of Colored Rain lipsticks. This is another situation where I loved the colors, but I didn't like the formula, and I still don't really love the formula. However, this shade here, and let me smell it because I want to keep it. it. Smells okay. I mean, it doesn't really have any scent at all, but I'll swatch it for you guys. Look at this shade. And if I can remember, I will, I will insert a photo of what this shade looks like on my lips because, <laughs> baby, it is so pretty. So I'm going to keep this one because... I like it. This is Spike Punch. I like this shade too. Again, I wear these. I actually do wear these. I don't love the formula, but I just love the shade so much. So that is Spike Punch, which really reminds me of a like liquid lipstick version of Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Dragon. I'm even tempted to compare since I'm doing all of this. I might compare them, but I'm going to hold on to this too. These two, on the other hand, this one I kept because I love the shade. The f look at how dry that is. It's so dry, guys. I, I I really dislike this formula. I really do. It is from their their Safari Rain collection, and I just remember these being really expensive, and I was really bummed that they came in like cardboard packaging. And I was like, well, not for that price point. I mean, it's pretty and all, but it's cardboard, and these were not cheap. Um, but I just don't like the formula. Color's beautiful. Don't like the formula. I'm going to declutter that. This one um is what is this one called? Cotton candy. Cotton with a K, candy with a K. Like it's very, it's very Kylie Jenner. Um, I like that. I do. <laughs> now that I'm swatching it, I'm like, damn, I really like that. Now I don't like this for like everyday wear, but again, you know, I have a, I am a content creator. I do have an Instagram. I do create looks and this is something that I can get use out of. And now that I'm swatching it and it's sort of like reigniting why I purchased it, I think I'm going to keep it. All right. So I got rid of one. I only had four anyway. So I got rid of one. That's not bad. Next up, I have my one Kylie Jenner lippy. And this is from her, you know, before she relaunched. This is an oldie. I have other greens. And I want to swap. I want to compare those greens to this one before I decide what to do with this one. Because if I like you know, I have other greens from a formula that I like more. If these match, if these are like dupes, or if they are dupes for it, I'm just going to get rid of this one. But I want to test it out first. So these two. Oh, oh. Disaster, disaster. So this one and this one. These two here I'm going to put to the side because I want to swatch them up against other things and see where they stack up. All right, next up we have these bad boys. <sighs> what can I say? I really love the Kaleidos Lip Cloud Paint. I think they're called Cloud Lip Paint or Cloud Paint. Cloud Lab Lip Clay, excuse me. Cloud Lip Clay. I love the colors. I loathe this formula. I know so many people love it. I just don't. It doesn't do anything for my lips. It makes my lips look wrinkly and and dehydrated. It kind of reminds me of that Nick, the old Nick's um, lip. Was it like lip mousse or what was it called? You, you guys know the ones I'm talking about. They were like the moussey lip, like liquid lipstick, but they were more like mousse formula. Those hated my lips too, and these hate my lips. And my hate, my lips hate it. But the colors are so lovely. But it again, it doesn't make sense to hold on to things if I'm not wearing them because I don't like the way they look on me. So this is, 
And you see how that looks? It's very moussey. I have very dry lips and I have lips that are very wrinkled and all this does is just make my lips look more dry and more wrinkled. But I love the shades. This is Terra. This is Dune. And honestly, I bought this little set on a whim when I bought the, um, what was it, the Flower Punk palette. They were having a little deal. If you bought one of the slip sets, you could get the little drawer set. So I was like, okay, I'll buy these. And I never tried the formula and I loved the colors, but, and I'm sorry, that one was Adobe. And this one is Sienna. <sighs> really pretty, hate the formula, decluttering all of them. Wah, wah. All right, next up I have all of my, all of my, all two of my Fenty products. Literally, this is all I have. Um, this is the OG Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. Everybody raved about this. Everybody and their mother. I don't like it. I honestly don't. I never wear it. I kept it for my last declutter. I was like, if you don't wear it between now and then, like buy your next declutter, get rid of it. So it's, it's going. I know that's really controversial, but it raves about that. And I'm just like, meh. This is Honey Waffles. And this is the um, Gloss Bomb Cream. Hmm. Here's the thing about this one, guys. I really like it. I just don't know if the color looks great on me. But I love it. I like the formula a lot. I kind of want to revisit it. kind of want to see if I like it maybe with like a lip liner. A different lip liner. Because I don't like it on its own. So I think I'm going to give this one another shot and just play around with it a little bit because I don't want to declutter it yet. So I'm going to set that one to the side. Next up I have my Melt, my two Melt um, liquid lipsticks. I have Fawn, which is not my shade. Well, Fawn kind of reminds me of that shade from the Sophia Nygaard ColourPop collection. So part, I think I'm going to keep it because of that. I don't hate this formula, by the way. The formula is lovely. But I love these kind of shades. So I think I'm going to keep this. This is Fawn. I'm going to keep this. I had the other one, which was, I think it was golden. And that looks like straight up mustard on my lips. Mustard. I was so upset because I love the shade on everybody else. But me, because I have yellow skin undertones, it just, it was not the biz. This is, I guess I'll sit it here. This is Toke. I don't want to get glitter in it. This is Token. This is the darkest green I own. It's almost black. You see that? I love it. I love it. I love it. Keeping. Okay, bang. All right. I do have other ColourPop stuff, guys. I just realized it. They were in the wrong spot. So let's just deal with those. So this is what I have. This is a lip gloss. As you can see, it's separating anyway. Don't like it. Getting rid of it. This is one of their Luxe lips. This is the shade Ingenue. Hate the formula of this. It's like, again, like that moussey stuff. I hate it. Getting rid of. So, those are gone. These two. I used to love the lippy sticks. I used to, I, I'm an OG ColourPop purchaser. And lippy sticks used to be a my jam. These smell like crayon though. And I'm thinking they're going to go. These things go bad so quickly. It's really quite sad. And that's one of the reasons why I just kind of want to stop buying them. Um, this is, I think, Brat Pack. And then this is Sassy. Beautiful shades. They smell like crayon, so they're bad. I'm going to get rid of them. And that is all of, officially all the color pop. Then I have these three NYX, or four, excuse me, NYX products. These I actually love. I know, um, who was it? It was, I think, Angelica Nyquist, who did not like this formula. I don't know, I'm putting this on my hand, y'all, because I'm never going to get this shit off. This is this stuff is like cement. But that's why I like it, because the first time I wore these, I wore these, this one specifically, um, all day under a mask. I put this on, and I put the gloss on, and I was like, all right. The gloss wore off a little bit, but the lipstick stayed, and it stayed so much so, so well, that I was rubbing at my lips for what felt like years to get it off. I tried so many products, got most of it off, but I still had a little bit on the next day. Like that's how strong the stuff is. So I, I, I mean, I definitely give a user warning with these. Like don't, don't play around guys. This is not, this is not for the faint of heart. But, but 
if you need something like that I think it's a good option you know you know this is a blue that I just I mean it's like a blurple let me just sit it look at that shit look at that <laughs> I love it I'm keeping I actually really love blue lipstick I don't wear it's not something that I'm like pulling out all the time to wear every day but I love having these kinds of shades on hand they bring me joy so all of these are staying I shall sit these back in their little home on the side here next up I have some one-offs and I just want to get out of the way so we can go on to like other collections so I have all of these and this one and this one any other one-offs to talk about <sighs> this one we're back guys the sneezing has stopped <sighs> let us pray that it stopped okay so these are my one-offs so first up i have this wet and wild one from like a thousand years ago this is the shade pout off let me see if it's still good because i actually really like this let's let's swatch it i don't know guys i love that i still love it it's so pretty i'm gonna i'm gonna hold on to that it still smells fine this is from sephora and this is i forget what shade this is this is i can't 118 it doesn't have a name it's just shade 118. let's swatch that here Yep, still love that too. This formula is actually really nice. If you want something that's kind of like a similar to these, but with a not as drying and not as like prone to making your lips look really wrinkled, I think the Sephora collection version of these are really nice and they're far more forgiving to wrinkly lips or lips that have lots of lines. Next up, I have this Ofra from Miami Fever. I think this is there from their collab with Kathleen Lyons. I've had this forever. I don't know if I'm keeping this though. Yeah, no, I'm getting rid of that. And I've already talked about my feelings about Ofra anyway, so that's not a loss for me. I'm gonna do away with that. And I haven't worn it in ages. This, I don't know why the hell I even kept this. This is unapologetic. I love the color. I hate this formula. I hate it with the heat of a thousand suns. It is the worst. It's streaky. It's drying. It doesn't last. I'm like, what? What? What were we going for here? This is supposed to be like a liquid lipstick. No. Doing away with. This is my one Menagerie Cosmetics lipstick, in the shade Leo. Just a little backstory. Menagerie Cosmetics used to be Makeup Monsters and then they rebranded and when they were Makeup Monsters they actually were my favorite liquid lipstick brand. Like even before Dose of Colors I was purchasing um, Makeup Monsters liquid lipsticks on the regular um, and then they rebranded and I kind of just you know I discovered Dose of Colors and I just kind of stuck with that. And I purchased a ton of their liquid lipsticks when they were like rebrand before they rebranded and I used them, they kind of expired and I just slowly got rid of them. And so I didn't have any more in my collection and I really wanted to see what the new formula was like. So I got this shade Leo. I like it. I don't love it. I like it. The formula is still good. Not like I'm not saying anything bad about the formula. I want to get more use out of this shade though, because I do love that. But just to give you a little backstory on that, this, this brand, this, this company in its original form was my, once my favorite liquid lipstick brand. Next up, I have this thing that I got in a set when I got one of my um, NARS bronzers. <sighs> I want to get more use out of this. It's a lip oil, but I just don't know if I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. You know, it's it's a lip oil. We'll see. I have a ton of like lip balms and lip things and things like that. I'm not going to show those in a declutter because I'm not getting rid of any of them. What I'm really just doing with all of my lip balm type things is just working through them. Like I'm using each one, using it up tossing it or putting it in my empties rather at this point and then opening a new one and starting that one up so I might just add this to that just so I can get some use out of it oh men down okay black moon cosmetics love their shade range of liquid lipsticks this is one of my favorites of all time it's kind of sticky because it something was leaking in the little bin this one got sticky too but let me just swatch this for you guys my hands are a hot mess look at that shade 
Look at it. And it looks crazy, but on my lips, it looks so good. It's cider. And it's so nice. Next up is an... I swatched these on my hand already, but this is the Linda Halberg um, Fantastics in Ameritrine. I love this shade. I love this formula. It's like a glossy lipstick hybrid. Um, love it. Not going anywhere. Then I have the Fashion Fair Lipstick in Koi here, which I really love. I've only worn this a few times, so I definitely want to get more use out of it, but I really like the formula. And then I have this here, which is my 1JD Glow in Koi. I don't know why I bought this. I was full of myself, but I love this color for like editorial purposes. Editorial purposes. All right, so those are all staying. And then this is my one Urban Decay lipstick, which I'm finally gonna get rid of. This has survived so many declutters, and I keep saying, well, see if you're gonna wear it, see if you're gonna wear it. I haven't. This shade just doesn't do anything for me, so I'm gonna do away with it. All right, next up, and I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster because my battery wants to die on me. All right, so, Prop of Beauty. Let's do those. These are relatively recent. Um, I would say they're like, I bought these last spring, maybe? Um, and let me see, let me flip them over so I can talk about which shades are which. All right, so. The shade that I say I would say I wear, I've worn the most is Prowess, which is, I think this is the one. No, I still love that though. The formula is very um, balmy. I was quite surprised by that. No, it's this one. It's Dynamite. I've worn this quite a bit. And what I love about it is it's very pigmented, but it be that glossy vibe with that really vibrant color. It's so nice. So these are staying. Um, then we have focused. I will say I kind of struggled, even though this is meant to be for deeper skin tones, I did struggle to find shades that I liked for my skin tone. Um, focused is pretty. I don't want to get rid of these yet necessarily. I want to see what use I get out of these other shades and then revisit in about, you know, on my next declutter and see what I've used and what I haven't. Like this shade here, I haven't reached for that much. Like you can even tell from the look of it, it just hasn't been reached for that much. This is Finesse. My hands are so messy right now. Um, and this is Victress, which I do love the, sh the tone of this. But again, I feel like mm, we'll see, you know. So yeah, these aren't going anywhere yet, but some of these may be on the chopping block. Next up, we have these bad boys here. My Fenties. I'm keeping all of these. First of all, I think these are being discontinued, so I don't even know if you'll be able to get these anymore. But this is... Uh, Freckle Fiesta. Love these. I like the formula quite a bit. I really do. Um, and let's see this one. This is Wasabi. And this one I haven't used. I haven't used on my lips. I've swatched it. This is my newest one. And I just love the shade of that. That's, what's it called? Midnight Wasabi. And this is Clapback. And I've worn this on Instagram and in real life, and it's just like a badass blue. Love it, love it, love it. This is, what's this called? You dig, yeah. Haven't worn this one yet. Love it though, not getting rid of it. And this is, Matt, is this, what's this called? Do I have two of these? I think I have two Midnight Wasabis. Look at that. This is what happens when you buy things and then forget you have them. Yeah, it's the same. I was like, are they different? Is that why I bought them? No. So yeah, let's get rid of one Midnight Wasabi. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And yet, so me. So very me. All right, that was easy. We're going to put the Pat McGrath glass to the side because these aren't going anywhere but I do want to swatch them for you in a bit so I have the two sugar pills here that I hardly ever wear my hands are a mess I have Kleenex here but you know once you start putting liquid lipsticks on your hand it's pretty much all over all right so I have dress code and dropout I haven't worn these that much but I still want to hold on to them because I love the tones 
and I just haven't had a chance to really use them like I want to. So this was drop, oh, I'm sorry, that was dress code. This is drop out. Look at those. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping both of them. Now, these are the greens that I was saying I wanted to compare to the Kylie, because I have these all from Belegant Cosmetics, which is an indie brand. And I'm not like a huge fan of the formula per se, but I am a huge fan of the color selection. It's not a bad formula. It's just like not my fave, but I still wear them because I do. They're wearable. I don't hate it. You know, it's just not my fave. Um, but I love it for the shades because look at this tone. And every time I wear this, I get so many compliments on my lips. They're like, oh, let's, what color is that? This is Cider Sangria. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Stain. All right, so let's compare these greens. So this one is Kisseltoe, I think it's called. Now these I've had for a while, so it might be time to like retire these anyway. They smell fine. Okay, so let's... Let's compare. Let me sit this next to this one. So that's the Kylie one. That's the Belegant one. So not the same. Not the same. Similar, but not the same. And then this is Mudslide. Now this one might be a little bit closer, but I feel like this one is just a little more muted in tone. Yeah, it's got a little more brown to it. Hmm, keeping that one. I don't think I'm getting rid of any of my belly gants, but um, this is Dress to Chill, which I know isn't similar at all, but I'm going to swatch it anyway. But just such a fun, like, true green. And that's next to Melt Cosmetics Token. So those are my greens, guys, and I love them. Am I going to get rid of the Kylie one? I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. I kind of want to. But I also love the color. But I kind of, I feel like I can find it in a formula I like more. Maybe I should just do that. Yeah, let's get rid of the Kylie. We're going to do it. We're going to get rid of it. Next up is my one Lancome. Lancome. L'Absol Rouge. And these are so strange. They like, you press them. I think that's how you do it. How do you open these things? They're so annoying. Uh, there we go. So you press down and then it releases it. It's a little too complicated. I get why they were trying to be fancy because for this price it should be. As you can see, it's basically brand new. I haven't worn it yet. I bought this on sale and I do love the shade. It's such a fun like. But this is more something I would wear in the spring or summer. So I'm kind of holding on to it for that. But this is the shade um, Purple Fascination. I'll be keeping that because I haven't had a chance to really play with it yet. Then I have this one Milani, which you guys saw me use in a video recently. I will swatch it for you. This is Teddy Bear. Very pretty. I like the um, the formula a bit, quite a bit. Um, the color's not like groundbreaking, but I do like the formula. Next up, I have my one Yves Saint Laurent, which is from the original, the first um, YSL um, Zoe Kravitz. Um, collab and this is a shape one two one. I think it has a name, but I don't remember what the name is. But it's very pretty. It's kind of like a purple toned pinky neutral. Very pretty. Really cool packaging too. We'll be keeping that. Here is the one Natasha Denona that I told you guys I was not a fan of. That I feel like is old, so that's definitely going away. But it was sitting here, so I can remember to declutter it. That is going away. And then I have two Juvia's Place. I'm on the fence about this, these two guys. I don't know if I got the right colors for my skin tone. I really like the shade Lady. I just don't know. I love it though. Should I play with it more? I mean, it's not very different from that. And I can get that to work. So maybe I should play with this a little bit more with like lip liners and see. So I don't hate the formula. Yeah, I'll play with it a little bit more. And then this one is in Vogue. This one is the one that I'm really considering getting rid of because it's just... Look at that shape. It's just so light and peachy. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. We're chugging along, guys. This is from the Oma Beauty um, Coming to America 2 collection. This is called Peaches and Akeem. I love the embossing on it. It's so pretty. 
Um, this shade is interesting. Like, it's so pale. Like, it's n practically nothing. And I feel like if I wanted something like that, I'd want it in a gloss form. You know? Like, this just kind of makes me feel like I don't have anything on my lips. I mean, I've worn it a couple times. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. It's just kind of meh. Then I have these two e.l.f. And these are kind of, I guess you could say, balmy. I love this one. I wear it quite a bit. Um, it doesn't have any color to it, but this is what I mean. Like, if I'm going to wear something, I want it to be an actual balm and have some, like, moisturizing properties. This one is just kind of like a lipstick that's balmy, you know? These actually, I feel like, moisturize my lips. I love this shade, and this is the shade Blissful. This one, I'm a bit more on the fence on. I, this is ecstatic, and... Kind of reminds me of Clinique Black Honey, but I just don't know if I like the way this looks on my lips. I don't know. I'm going to give it another shot, though, because I do love the formula. So I'll hold on to those for now. Then I have two of the Artist Couture lipsticks, and I love these. I have Saucy Gal and Power Play. Power Play of the two, Power Play is probably my fave. But look at what this has done. You see how this has this, like, look, has this, like, frosting on it you guys see that i don't know have these gone bad is that what is that what that means like i don't know see this one has a two i don't know what that means if if they've gone bad i'm gonna declutter them i'm gonna have to google it and see what that means but this shade here is my fave i love that one too i'm gonna be really bummed if these have gone bad because i haven't actually had them for that long but I'm going to Google and see if that, like, blooming means that it's they've gone bad. They don't smell bad. So I don't know. And my battery is beeping on me. Let's do these next. All right. We're going to go fast. So Gucci, Gucci. This is the Gucci Rouge. What is this? Like, the little balmy ones? I got this last year when these were so popular and everybody was purchasing them. They remind me of the Linda Halberg ones love that love these keeping it then my one matte this is tasty hazel i've worn this in videos get so many compliments on it love it it's very velvety it reminds me of the uh, linda Hall, um, lisa eldridge lipsticks love that that's tasty hazel this is susan nude love that keeping it and this is Penny Beige, one of my all-time favorite nudes ever in the history of lipsticks. Love it, wear it all the time. Not going anywhere. All right, guys, we're going to stop here. I'm going to change my battery, and then we're going to come back. Okay, guys, I am back. It has been a couple hours, actually. And my battery uh, wanted to go kaputs on me, so it needed to be recharged and I sat down had something to eat and we are back in business which is funny because this is the the, the last of it all here this is my collection of um, Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and lip glosses so I'm gonna pull all these out for you guys so you can see them Okay, so here we are. I only have two lip glosses. I'm going to put those to the side so we can talk about the lipsticks first. So first up we have Dance Card, and I have two of her, I forget what she calls these, but they're kind of like a lip gloss lipstick hybrid. They're very um, emollient and kind of glowy, glossy on the lip. Um, this is Dan's card. And I have another one here. Let's see. I should, yes, Kitten Mischief. And just to spoiler alert, I'm not getting rid of any of my Lisa Eldridge. No way. So these are the two that I have. I definitely prefer Kitten Mischief. I think Dan's card can kind of lean a little too orange on me. A little too kind of um, pinky, corally orange for my skin tone. But when I use it with a lip liner, I can usually finesse it a bit. So... Yeah, so those are stained. Everything is stained. And then the rest of these are her Velvet Matte Lipstick Formula. Um, and I have here Velvet Affair, which is a fave. I use this quite a bit. Beautiful shade. It's kind of like a neutral with a hint of, hint of pink in it. I have Velvet Cinnabar. 
this is the newest one in my collection. This is what she released in the fall of fall winter of 2020. Love this shade. Um, it is becoming quickly becoming a fave. And I get so many compliments when I wear this as well. Velvet Fawn. This is a classic. This can read a bit light on my skin tone, but again, I when I wear it with a um, lip liner, it's usually fine. I don't wear this one as much as like Velvet Affair. Velvet Jazz. We're getting into the deeper tones here. So this is Velvet Jazz. Very pretty. This is Velvet Morning, and this one is more on the orangey side. There you go. And I'm actually going to swatch Velvet Dragon next to Velvet Morning because I, I, I don't think I ever really do that, but I just want to see what they look like next to each other. Yeah. So Velvet Dragon is my fave Lisa Eldred shade. Love it. And I feel like it's that and Cinnabar are the two that I probably reach for the most. Next, I have Velvet Ribbon, which is her classic red. I then have Velvet Myth. So that's on the side. And then I have Velvet Blush. And this one is newer to my collection as well. I haven't worn this one as much. It's got more of a pinky undertone to it, but it's very pretty. Love, love. All right. And then my two glosses. And I have Affair and Muse. So this is Muse, and I really do like this um, gloss formula. It's very nourishing, and um, it's just, it's, it's very comfortable on the lips. And this is a fair. And of the two, I would say I wear a fair the most. Very pretty. But yeah, those are all my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and lip glosses. They're not going anywhere. Nowhere. Lastly, my glasses. And I said I was going to swatch there it is. Um, my Fantasia lip color, lip gloss, excuse me, from ColourPop next to Full Real, which is my favorite um, Pat McGrath lip gloss. And it's this one here. So I just want to see how similar they actually are. Oh, wow. They're not that similar at all. And I'm sorry if you guys hear whistling. That's my radiator. <laughs> sorry. It's so many noises today. I just, I can't escape it. It's everywhere. I'm just like barreling through at this point, like, gotta get it done. So this is Fantasia, and this is um, Faux Real. And I, they're less similar than I was expecting them to be. And now I kind of want to keep Fantasia because, yeah, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep both. Okay, that was a fun little experiment. All right, so these are my others. And one thing you will have to know about Pat McGrath glosses is that they separate when they're laying down, which mines do. Doesn't mean they're bad. You just have to shake them up. Um, this is Peach Perversion. This is probably the one I wear the least, but I do like it. And these, all of these are really sheer with like micro shimmers in them. And I love layering these over neutral toned lipsticks. I don't really generally wear them on their own. If I'm wearing a gloss on its own, I usually like something with a bit more pigment to it um, and no shimmer. This is, uh, yes, Divine Rose. Very pretty. This is the other one that I've been wearing a ton. Wait, no, that one's, this is Love Potion. I like this one. I thought I would get more use out of it, but I'm still keeping it because I still like it. And you see how clear that is. I mean, it's practically clear with a little bit of micro shimmer. But this is the one that I've been using more. Like, Full Real used to be my absolute fave, but I find myself reaching for um, Dare to Bear even more lately. And it just has a hint. I'm going to put this. I'll put it here. It looks super light, but it just has this beautiful hint of, like, neutral tone pinkiness that I love. And it looks really good over neutrals. So, yeah, guys, that's everything that I own. And let's pull in everything that I'm getting rid of and we can kind of do a little roundup of all that stuff. All right, these two. I've decided, guys, I think I'm going to keep 
cinnamon. Remember I swatched it and I was like, mm, let me see how it dries down. And I had, was keeping an eye on it. Now I swatch it again after scrubbing it in my hand. But I think I'm going to keep it. Now, Dirty Blonde on the other hand. Now I'm going to keep that one too. <laughs> but I am getting rid of these. Okay. And this one I was really like struggling with. So I'm going to get rid of these. Now, let's count up how many I got rid of. Thirty pieces, guys. That is not bad. I'm actually quite proud of myself. I wasn't expecting to get rid of quite as much. I knew I, this one was gonna be like I knew I was gonna get rid of some things, but to, I didn't think it was gonna be about thirty items. So I'm proud of myself for that. I think that's a nice little declutter. Um, some of these things are gonna be going to friends. I have a friend who has already called dibs on some of this. You know, anything that I declutter and anything that's like overly used is getting trash so yeah that is my very long chaotic as usual lipstick and lip gloss and liquid lipstick declutter i hope you enjoyed it it was it was it's been a journey guys see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.